What's up guys, it's me Terrari. Today I've decided to do something a bit different. First of all, you can see pretty much all my body except for my head. So you know this is going to be a different type of video. Second, what we're doing today is I'm going to go over my CD collection. So something you may not know about me is I collect CDs because Christmas of 2021 I got a stereo from my dad, and I got a second stereo from my grandparents. It was a bit of confusion on their part, but anyway, so I have four, I have four CDs that we're going to go through today, um, and I'm going to go through them in order of when I got them, and three of them are by the same artist. There's one, there's two different artists uh, whose CDs I have. One of them isn't really talked about anymore, and that's the one I'm going to go over last. So, alright, the first CD I ever got was back in January. This is uh, MTV Unplugged by Nirvana. It was released in 1994. It's a really nice CD. I've listened to it on the stereo I have here, and if we open it, um, my CD case broke, but if we open it, this is what the CD looks like inside. And um, the thing about CDs, if you didn't know, is that you can actually remove the front cover. They're called the liner notes. And basically, it's a little booklet. And in this particular set of liner notes, it's a mural. And then further in, it covers songs and stuff like that. It's actually very cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in and hopefully reattach the CD case to itself. This is the one I have that's, this CD case that I have here, it's the most fragile, or fragile, I don't care how you pronounce it. And anyway, geez, that's really having trouble. But anyway, that is, geez, that's not really sticking. Um, that is, MTV Unplugged in New York. Now, I got that back in January or February of this year. I don't remember which. My legs are starting to fall asleep since I've been crossing them. So, um, next, um, the next CD I got in year February or March, this is Icon by Nirvana. And this is different from my other CDs. The CD's actually made of, uh, the CD is actually made of, I think, carbon fiber, and it actually feels really cool. And there's not really much in the way of liner notes here, um, because it just basically displays the songs and the credits. It's very interesting, though, and I've listened to the first three songs on it. In fact, the only CD here that I've listened to in its entirety is the last CD. Oddly enough, and the third CD, I actually just, okay, these last two CDs, I just got on, man, I'm having a hard day with dates, I got them on the 13th of, of June, I'm having trouble, so the first one that we're going to go over is Incesticide, now this is a new copy, it cost me 13 it cost me $15. My dad bought it for me. So these next two CDs my dad bought for me, but the other two I bought with my own money. So the cool thing about the original Incesticide CDs, as late as 1998, they contained a special, very, very special message put in there by Kurt Cobain, which had so much profanity in it that I cannot uh, say those words here. And now, man... These liner notes are really stuck in well, aren't they? So I'm just going to remove these liner notes and actually hope I don't rip them or anything. Man. Now these are the liner notes to Incesticide. And if we, okay, that's the back. And then I can show you all this right here. Basically all the information about the songs. And I didn't show you all the back of the CD case. Usually there's nothing interesting to see. But this has a rubber duck. <laughs> it's a little funny to me. 
But in addition, this is the back of uh, Unplugged and the back of Icon. Now this final artist isn't really talked about anymore. And on my main channel, I referenced it pretty heavily on my latest video, U.S. Uh, state, United States, or U.S. States comparing 90s bands. And I referenced this pretty heavily at the beginning of the video. It's a, it, it, they aren't exactly well known anymore. It's a band called Sponge. And now this is the back cover. Very interesting. It probably it has the most extensive liner notes of all my CDs. I got this used for $5 at the same place where I got Incesticide. Um, this is what the um, inside CD looks like. And then we got the liner notes, which are very, very extensive. And now if I just can unfold them, the front features a lot of murals. In the back, features mostly lyrics and you can see it says sponge on the back it has a couple pictures of the band as well I find it very interesting how I was able to how I actually managed to get this I mean this is such a good record but you don't see it in record shops a lot anymore or any store for that matter and it folds up nicely and we're going to slide it back into the CD case, and if I didn't show you all the back already, I'll do that again in just a sec, if I can just slide the liner notes in. And, let's see. Alright, there we go. Gotta seal this. Did it seal? Did it seal? Yeah, that's sealed very easily, and again, this is the back, and... Something I just noticed, actually, is that it looks like that this guy on the front has his hand pointing to the band on the back that rhymes. Okay, so that's my entire CD collection. It's not too big so far. Maybe in the future when I have a ton more CDs, like at 10 CDs, 20 CDs, I'll probably show you all the entire collection. And Thank you all so much for watching this uh, newer video that I didn't really realize I make. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And if you really, really like the type of content I make on here, click the notification bell and and uh, subscribe. I don't know if I already said that. And again, thank you all so much for watching today's um, miscellaneous video with Terrari Mesk. And I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.